Hello, in this video we're going to be going over the Video Intercom extension module. Now with this extension module it allows us to use the RS, the RS-45 connection on the back of our VTO units and be able to open up a second door. Now for the Video Intercoms we're going to be able to use any model VTO that we currently have in our catalog. Um, in this case we're going to be using the VTO that comes in the kit alongside with the VTH to control that second lock. Now for the physical wiring we're going to be following the uh, image from the manual that comes included. This is the um, typical network diagram that you'll typically see for uh, the setup. Here you can see we have two power supplies, one going for the uh, extension module itself and then one to create the normally closed circuit for the mag lock. On the left side, we do have the RS-45 connections for the VTO, and that's what we're going to be physically wiring over to the unit. So let's go ahead and get started with the wiring. Now first we want to start off with the power to power up the extension module. To do that, we're going to be using the 12 volt DC power supply we have here, um, and then wiring it directly to the module. So we're going to go from um, our positive directly to our 12 volts. And our negative straight to the ground. Once we have it wired, we connect directly to the power. And this is going to supply our 12 volts that we need to power up our module. Now for the normally closed circuit for our mag lock, we're going to be using a typical mag lock you'll find. Um, I already have two leads, one running to the positive, one running to the negative, and this is going to help us create the circuit that we need. So very similar, I have a 12 volt DC power supply here. I am not going to plug it in actually first, I'm going to wire it directly, so this is going to be our hot. Um, I'm going to be wiring it to the positive of the mag lock. The negative of the mag lock, I'm going to wire that directly to the com. Of our extension module. And then I'll be closing the circuit with another piece of wire going from our normally closed relay to the negative of our power supply or the ground of our power supply. Oops. And we'll use this little connector that we have. And now we can go ahead and plug in the power. And we now have the MAC lock completely closed because of our normally closed circuit. Now typically on our VTOs, if you try to enable the second door, you'll get this error. Uh, if you go to monitor, VTO, you'll see that when we press the second lock, it fails. So that's because it does a handshake over to the extension module to make sure that something's there to send the signal. So we're going to go ahead and start wiring the RS-45 directly from the back of the VTO to our extension module. On the back of the VTO we do have our two connections for the RS-45. We have our A and B. Now depending on the model of VTO, like I mentioned, sometimes you would need to wire it um, from A to B and B to A. But for this particular VTO, it actually requires A to A connection and B to B connection. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to grab another piece of wire. This is going to go straight to our RS-45B. And then this one's going to go to our RS-45A. And now I connect it to the 
extension module. That was our B, and now I'm going to plug in our A. And our wiring is complete. Now that the VTO has the RS5 connection connected, if we go over to the VTH itself, we can go ahead and go to monitor now, select the VTO, select the second lock, the door is unlocked. and we can now unlock the door. Now this extension module can't really be programmed. The programming is going to be done directly on the VTO. So if you want to change the latch time or the open time or the uh, activation delay, then you would need to log in directly to the web interface of the VTO. So to do that, you would need a computer or a laptop and log into the web interface of the VTO by logging into the IP address. Once inside the web interface, you're going to want to go to local settings, access control settings, RS45, and changing the intervals here. So the unlock period is going to be your latch time and unlock response interval. This is your cool time, your cool down time. So after 15 seconds, you'll be able to unlock the door again. So we're going to change this over to five seconds. But that is the video intercom and that's how you would program it.